Scunthorpe Hospital Radio is a voluntary organisation. It's been going for over 60 years here in Scunthorpe. We're one of the oldest. And the origins all started out with a gentleman going and recording football commentaries down at the old showground, as it was then, and coming back and playing them to the patients here in Scunthorpe General. I've been involved at Scunthorpe Hospital Radio since 2007, uh, and I think I've been uh, a full member since 2008. Um, I've really enjoyed being a member. Um, I started off on a Monday evening uh, as one of the group and then uh, transferred to Tuesdays where me and two other girls won the programme Girls' Night In. While I was looking for a job I thought what I'm going to do is I want to do something I enjoy and popped into hospital radio. I've always liked radio stations, listened a lot and preferred it as much of the time to TV. <laughs> So I popped in and I loved the people here, it was such a great atmosphere and uh, just stayed and kept coming really. We're all volunteers here at Scunthorpe Hospital Radio and we don't demand a minimum commitment of time off people, it's as much or as little as they can give. So we're quite happy for people to give just a couple of hours a week. But we're looking for people who really are interested in talking to people because it's a very personal medium here on Hospital Radio. You know, you go out round the wards, you talk to the patients who are your listeners, you find out what they want you to play for them, and then you'll come back and do a request show for them. Well, this coming weekend, we're celebrating 35 years of, of broadcasting in its current form here in Scunthorpe General. And we're celebrating that by doing 35 hours of continuous live broadcasting. That's unusual for us because we're all volunteers, we're doing this in our spare time. So normally broadcasting is it's an evening and weekends only. And also to celebrate 35 years, we're doing 35 challenges. So we've been out and about trying to make links with local organisations and doing things that we wouldn't normally do and just pushing ourselves a bit. I've had a go on a speedway bike at Scunthorpe Speedway. We've had our chairman down to Curtin Windmill where he learned how to mill flour. We had somebody go up in a glider at Curtin in Lindsay at Trent Valley Gliding Club. And uh, we've even had somebody go to feed the crocodiles. You don't have to be looking for a career in radio. You know, we've got people who do present, but we also want people to ward visit. We want people to fundraise. So there's lots and lots of different jobs that people can do here and as I say there's no minimum commitment on time and we are looking for new members if people want to get in touch. The best way to get in touch is via our website which is www.shronline.co.uk and if anybody wants to hear any of the audio from the challenges or the interviews that we're doing this weekend we'll be posting them all online on the website as well. At the Scunthorpe General The patient's favourite Hospital